हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ मिस्टर चोले प्रशांत रमेशरा हेड एंड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल साइंस संजीवनी महाविद्यालय चापुली तालुका चाकूर डिस्ट्रिक्ट लातूर इन लास्ट सम लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू फ्रेश वॉटर हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकल डिफरेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ फ्रेश वॉटर there are different properties like chemical physical and biological properties of water all this aspect we should uh, learn in last some lectures now today we are going to discuss about rain water harvesting what is mean by rain water harvesting what are the importance why rain water is rain water harvesting is needed these all aspect we are going to in today chapter about two third of the earth is covered with water that is 71% water is present on the earth surface or earth is covered by 71% of water and only 29% land is present however from this 71% water usable water is very small the growing population the growing industries and agriculture practices need lot of water the huge consumption consumption of water causing huge reduction of available water we need to think about variety of ways to save and conserve our water resources one of the very important preventive measure for conservation is rain water harvesting basically water come on the surface with rain however it collected in rivers and in ocean which means that the usable water is lost in the ocean we can catch this rain water and storing this rain water catching and storing this process is called as rain water harvesting we see with the proper definition what is rain water harvesting rain water harvesting is a technology used for collecting and storing rain water from rooftops from rain, uh, land surface or a rock catchments usually a simple technique such as jars and pots as well as more complex techniques such as underground check dams this is the definition of a rain water harvesting and in simple manner it is a water comes from rain that store and catch and store rain water har harvesting is the accumulation and deposition of rain water for reuse on site rather than allowing it to run off into the rivers oceans etc what are the different uses of rain water there are different uses first is a recharge underground water we use this rain water harvesting technique to recharge the underground water for gardening for livestock stock that is bathing cleaning for flushing etc for drinking purpose after filtration or after filter this water we use for drinking purpose also and also for a irrigation purpose these are the different uses of water collected from rain water harvesting what are the different advantages of rain water harvesting rain water harvesting technology are simple to install and operate this this technique is very simple to install and operate in our house in our apartment or in our village local people can easily train it to implement such technologies and construction materials are also readily available 
running cost also are almost negligible the economically this is a very low cost technique very low cost is required for this technique water collected from roof catchment usually is of acceptable quality for domestic purpose quality of water collected from rooftop is a acceptable quality that is not much polluted or not much contaminated water next <coughs> there are two methods we can use for this purpose that is for the rainwater harvesting these are these two types are surface rainwater harvesting and rooftop rainwater harvesting during rainy season what happen rainwater get collected from rooftop and transferred to storage tank through a pipes often the water contain soil particles and other impurities and in surface runoff in urban area rainwater flows away as a surface runoff this runoff could be caught and used for recharging aquifer by adopting appropriate method the excess water that is surface runoff that collected and used to recharging aquifers by adopting appropriate methods next is a very important method that is rooftop rainwater harvesting it is a system of catching rainwater where it falls in rooftop harvesting the roof become the catchments and the rainwater is collected from the roof of the house or buildings this method is less expensive and very effective next what are the different components of rainwater harvesting there are different six main components of rooftop rainwater rainwater harvesting first catchment area what is mean by catchment area where is the water comes from second is the transportation third is the first flush fourth is the storage system fifth delivery system sixth and last is a filtration system where from the water is you uh, we use it for our for different purposes see the first the catchment area the surface that receives rainfall directly is the catchment of rainwater harvesting system the surface that receives rainfall that area is called as catchment area it may be terrace that is our roof courtyard or a open ground see in this image the this roof is a catchment area next transportation rainwater from rooftop should be carried through down take water pipes or drains to storage the rainwater comes from a rooftop is transferred to a storage by water pipes water pipes are used for the transportation of water from roof to the storage tank see in this, see in this picture these pipes are used to transfer roof of water to a storage tank also a, this is the catchment area collecting area this is a pvc pipe used for a transportation system and here is a storage facility available this is called as a transportation next first flush it is a device used to flush off the water received in the first shower the first shower of drains need to be flushed off to avoid contaminating storable or rechargeable water by probably contaminants of the atmosphere and a catchment area it also help in cleaning of silt and other material 
deposited on roof during dry season. Next, storage system. See in this picture, that is for a storage, we use a store tank or a baller used. All collected rainwater are stored in a tank or a barrels. Delivery system. It is used to deliver of water for uses. There are use of pumps or to take out water from a tank and deliver for many purposes. Water is delivered by pipe. See, this is the storage tank that is reservoir and these are the storage systems or a delivery system. Filtration system. This is the very important aspect in the uh, rainwater harvesting. In uh, <coughs> rooftop uh, rainwater, it contains soil particles and other impurities. In such cases, water should be filtered to remove these impurities. These are used for the treatment of water to effectively remove turbidity, color, microorganisms. After first flushing of rainfall, water should pass through filters. There are different types of filters are in practice. We see in the next slide. A sand travel filter. See in this picture the three layers of the uh, sand, gravels, and pebbles. There are commonly this is the commonly used filter constructed by brick machinery and filtered by pebbles, gravels, and sand as shown in the figure. Each layer should be separated by wire mesh. Charcoal filter. It can be made in situ or in a drum. Pebbles, gravel, sand, and charcoal, as shown in the figure, should be filled in the drum or chamber. Each layer should be separated by wire mesh. See in this picture. This is charcoal, sand, and this shows the wire mesh to separate these layers. Thin layer of charcoal is used to absorb odor if any. PVC pipe filter. This filter can be made by PVC pipe of 1 to 1.20 meter length. Diameter of pipe depends on the area of roof. 6 inches diameter pipe is enough for 1500 square, meter, square foot of a roof and 8 inch diameter pipe should be used for a roof more than 1500 square feet pipe. This is divided into a three compartments by wire mesh. We show we should see in this picture recharging rod motor of aquifers commonly used recharging methods are recharging of bore wells, recharging of dug wells, recharge pits, recharge trenches, percolation tanks. Recharging of bore wells, we should see, we see in this picture, this is the rainwater transport to a storage tank and from storage tank, it is recharged into a bore wells by a pipe. Recharge pits, this is the rooftop area, with the catchment area, transport to a pit and it recharge a groundwater. Why do people harvest rainwater? Rains, rainwater is a precious source due to increase in the demand from our ever growing population. Rainwater harvesting can provide around 50% of a family water needs. This not only saves water but saves money and reduces our impact on the environment. To, to re, this is to reduce soil erosion, rainwater harvesting help 
to inoculate a culture of water conservation.